hello guys welcome to me tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you a demo of table layout using coding guys so guys but before that if you didn't watch my earlier videos then please watch it first because it is necessary guys okay guys so now let's move forward to android studios so you can understand it very well so let's switch it guys okay guys so we are in android studio you can see here table layout demo our project is already created so guys we are going to build this type of ui for table layout but guys dynamically so let's move to java file so here is our java file okay guys so let's begin so first of all our first step is to create an object of this view group and views so let's create it so table layout guys so let's create its object okay now we have to create an object for table row so here is so table row okay so now we have to create five buttons okay so b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 okay so now we have to initialize them so first of all table layout equal to new table layout and here we have to pass this okay now same thing we have to do this for table row and buttons so let's do it here this okay so now for button guys so b1 equal to new button and this now guys we have to simply just copy it because it repeats five time so that's why so one two three and four okay so now we have to change its name to two three four and five okay so we have initialized them okay so now we have to create and layout params class object so let's okay we have to use this android widget table layout okay so now let's create its object lp equal to new and here also we have to use layout params for table layout okay so now here we have to set its width and height so match parent width and height would be also match parent okay so it's done now we have to set this layout param object so there is a method in table layout that's that layout params and here simply we have to pass lp okay so now guys we have to just set the text of button so let's set it first Okay, so column one. Okay, so guys, now we have to simply copy it. Okay, so now let's change its name. Okay, it's done okay guys but one thing that we forgot that we have to create one more row because there are two rows so here we have to you create it one more object so table row and two okay here we have to pass one and we have to create one more so let's copy it guys okay two okay so we have to now just simply add this view into table row so let's add it so table row one dot that is add view method guys and we are simply we have to pass b1 same thing we have to do for b2 and b3 and button okay just change its name guys okay so now we have to add last two buttons in another row so add view and here b4 okay now just copy it 
and paste it okay so guys now one thing we left that is to add this both row into table layout so let's add it table layout dot add view guys there is add view method and here we simply have to pass the table row one and same just we have to copy this and paste it guys and here two okay so now here we have to just change this value to table layout because our main layout is table layouts that's why okay so now let's save it first and let's run it okay so let's run it it's building right now guys okay guys so you can see here that our app is installed and you can see here our output is perfect so guys thanks for watching this video and please keep liking and subscribing my channel so bye bye see you in next video